So you've worked hard for your money and have some saved up. You figure now is a good time to invest some of it, to make your money work hard for you. But where to invest? Do I buy shares or government bonds? Do I buy a house or start a business? Maybe I should just spend it all on a dream holiday to somewhere warm and tropical. Perhaps there's a smarter alternative. Have you ever heard of arbitrage? Chances are you haven't, so let me explain. Arbitrage is the ability to take advantage of the difference in prices between different marketplaces. Imagine you had 10 oranges. You know that in the next town over, there's someone that loves oranges and will give you 11 apples for them. So you go to him and trade your oranges for apples. But it doesn't end there. You know that down the road lives a woman that will gladly trade you strawberries for your apples. So you go to her. You trade your 11 apples for 12 strawberries. Finally, you go back home to your local orange farmer. He's willing to give you 12 oranges for the 12 strawberries. After starting the day with 10 oranges, you now have 12. Tomorrow, you make the same trip again, selling the oranges for apples, apples for strawberries, and strawberries for oranges, each time adding to your total number of oranges. By doing this process over and over again, you keep compounding the growth and accumulate a lot more than the original 10 oranges. This is pretty much how all importing works. You find a market where you can buy something for cheaper, like a chair in China, and move it to a market where people are willing to pay more, like a chair store in South Africa. With the advent of cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin, this process becomes quick, simple, and very profitable. At Dos Hombres, we specialize in facilitating this type of process. The arbitrage process has a lot of moving parts which can make it seem confusing at times. So let's explain in detail exactly how this process works. As a tax citizen of South Africa, you're allowed by SARS to take up to 11 million rand out of the country annually as a foreign investment allowance. This 11 million rand allowance is what those hombres uses to facilitate the arbitrage process. Money is transferred from your personal bank account into a mercantile bank account under your name. SARS then grants permission for you to take the money out of the country. With this permission, the rands are converted to euros and sent to Europe to your crypto account. With these euros, you will buy Bitcoin. This Bitcoin is then transferred back to South Africa and sold for rands. This process is repeated over and over again until the 11 million rand ceiling has been reached for the year each time delivering a profit on not only your initial investment, but also the growth, thereby compounding your profit. All these steps are done in-house, and you'll have to be involved to a minimal extent, making this a truly passive income method. So what are the steps you need to get the ball rolling? In order to ensure that your money is safe and secure, there are several steps that you'll need to do with a Dos Hombres consultant to open the relevant accounts. Step one, create an account with Dos Hombres. Step two, ensure you're in good standing with SARS. In other words, your taxes need to be up to date and not in dispute. Step three, create a secure account with a local cryptocurrency, namely Valor. Step four, create a secure account with a European-based cryptocurrency trading platform, namely Kraken. Step five, give those hombres permission to correspond with SARS on your behalf regarding the 11 million Rand foreign investment allowance. Step six, provide the Dos Hombres system API access to trade on the cryptocurrency platforms on your behalf. Step seven, transfer money into a mercantile bank account under your own name. Step eight, sit back, relax, and let us at Dos Hombres work our magic. Naturally, you must be thinking, is it safe? What are the risks? Is it even legal? Let us try to put your mind at ease. All the accounts where money is kept, be it in rands, euros, or bitcoin, will be in your own personal name. You have full access to all your accounts at any time, and you can withdraw your money at any point. But what about the access given to those hombres to facilitate the trade on my behalf? Can't they use that access to move my money into another account? No. The permission granted to those hombres is only to action the transfer of money between your own accounts. Those hombres does not have the permission or even the ability to move your money into an account which isn't owned and accessible by you. As with any investment, there is always risk. However, through the clever setup of the trading system we have at Dos Hombres, the risk that your money is exposed to is kept at a minimum. 
this process is legal and done in compliance with guidelines as set out by the South African Reserve Bank and SARS. Are there monthly fees? No. One of the great advantages of the Dos Hombres model is the facilitation fee structure. So, unless you make money, no one makes money. What is a recommended minimum investment? Each step of the process relating to moving money through the arbitrage process has a fee associated with it. Some of these fees are percentage-based, but others are fixed amounts. This means that the less money you send through the process, the greater effective percentage you end up paying in fees. We therefore recommend a minimum investment of 70,000 Rand. Let's look at a few actual examples of current clients of Dos Hombres. Client 1 started 2020 with 70,000 Rand. By the end of June, his profit was 86,000 Rand, putting his value at over 156,000 Rand. Client 2 started 2020 with 380,000 Rand. By the end of June, his profit was 245,000 Rand, putting his value at over 625,000 Rand. For more information on those hombres, the arbitrage process, and how you can make your money work for you, find the contact information in the description, and one of our consultants will get you set on the path to financial freedom.